In 1916, in the context of his general relativity theory, Albert Einstein predicted the existence of gravitational waves. Now they were detected. Welcome to the front lines of science. On February 11th, 2016, the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory, or LIGO in short, published the observation of a signal that could be caused by gravitational waves passing through Earth. Albert Einstein already predicted the existence of gravitational waves according to the general relativity, including their speed and their extremely small amplitudes. They are generated by the variations in time of a mass quadrupole of objects in space. The simplest example for that would be two mass points orbiting each other. In 1974, a binary pulsar system was discovered, with each of the neutron stars having about 1.4 solar masses. The decay of their orbit over time fit the energy loss due to gravitational waves as predicted by general relativity perfectly. However, the gravitational waves themselves have never been detected directly. Since the 2000s, large-scale interferometers were installed all over the world to enable direct detection of gravitational waves. A laser beam is separated using a beam splitter and directed along two 4 km long arms formed by two opposing mirrors each. Upon return, the light fields are combined again with a phase shift of half the wavelength of the laser, resulting in a destructive interference which cancels out the signal. Gravitational waves are expected to cause a strain on the arms of the interferometer, causing a relative phase shift of the light fields. The interference at the detector would no longer be completely destructive, yielding an optical signal. You could say that a ripple in space-time causes one of the arms to shrink or expand more than the other one, effectively leading to different distances that the light has to travel, which causes the two laser beams to be shifted out of alignment. Since these effects are hardly detectable, all components had to be optimized to minimize environmental effects like seismic and thermal noise. To avoid phase shifts by scattering of the light beam on the air molecules, an extreme vacuum is maintained along the tubes. On September 14, 2015, two LIGOs detected a signal within 10 milliseconds of each other. Unfortunately, none of the other detectors were operational at the time, making it extremely difficult to pinpoint the source of the signal. The signal lasted about 200 milliseconds, increasing over time in frequency and amplitude, which could correspond to two masses spiraling each other and eventually merging. To cause the orbital frequency of 75 hertz that was calculated from the measured signal, two Newtonian point masses would have to be only 350 kilometers apart from each other. A pair of neutron stars cannot be compact enough, leaving black holes as the only known object that could achieve this orbital frequency without contact. Using general relativity to model the merger of two black holes, the masses of the two initial black holes were estimated to be 29 and 36 solar masses respectively, whereas the resulting black hole's mass was estimated to be 62 solar masses. Hence the estimated amount of energy radiated by gravitational waves would be three solar masses times the speed of light in vacuum squared, which is in range of the energy released by 5,000 supernovae. This event took place about 1.3 billion years ago and just now the signal of it is reaching Earth. It was the first time gravitational waves were directly detected and was the first observation of a merger in a binary black hole system, which makes these observations prime candidates for the next Nobel Prize. Now efforts are underway to improve the global network of gravitational wave detectors and make them even more sensitive. In the future it may be possible to detect even more remote events, perhaps allowing us to study the history of such systems in the universe. Thank you for watching and make sure to subscribe for future updates from the front lines of science.